Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a huge Friday on FIFA 23 because Team of the Year is here. Our first Team of the Year cards in packs today, along with the first release of Team of the Year icons and just the beginning of all of the Team of the Year content that we have been so looking forward to. It's going to be a mental day of packs, of market, of SBCs, and what I want to do today is break it all down what to expect where's the market going to move what's going to go up what's going to go down and of course what to expect with team of the year content there's a lot of packs that have been added to the code what could we see from those today what SBCs could we see and of course a player of the month Mbappe is confirmed but we don't have an SBC yet so there is so much to talk about today if you're excited for team of the year hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's start from the top and talk about what's dropping in packs today because it's not a clear answer to that question. It's a little unclear. What we expect from this uh, confirmed team of the year 11 is we expect to see just the attackers in packs today. That is what EA has done for so long, last couple of years at least, is drop the attackers in packs for a couple days, then the midfielders, then the defenders, but they've been starting with the attackers because it sells a little bit extra packs. But some people believe that maybe the full team would be in packs today from day one. To me, that doesn't make sense because that's not how EA have done it in the past. But since the full entire team, all of these players are on the loading screen, which is different from previous years it's a little confusing I believe that it will only be the attackers in packs today so Mbappe Benzema and Messi in my opinion are going to be in packs today the rest will not be in the game yet but we will just have to wait and see of course that means big things for the market for a lot of people wanting to try to open packs if you have saved up packs, don't get too crazy today about opening them. In my opinion, the best time, and we've talked about this, but the best time is to be waiting until the full team is in packs. And then there's also Team of the Year honorable mentions that will be released. That's probably a week away from now. So I know a lot of us have been saving packs to open for when this team is out. But the best and best, most useful time to do that is probably not until later on next week and a week from now. So that's something to kind of keep in mind today. But we're expecting to see the attackers in packs today. Now also in packs today, team of the year icons. And we actually have the team of the year icon card design added to the code, added to the game. We know what team of the year icons are coming. We just don't know exactly which ones are coming today. Foot Sheriff leaked and said that it will be split up into two different teams, which also kind of furthers the idea that team of the year is going to be split up into two different weeks, which is another kind of vote of confidence or another reason, I guess, that it would only be part of the team of the year impacts today. But this is the official team of the year card design, just like we had with the World Cup icons. Team of the Year icons are going to act just like promo cards, so they will be packable from upgrade packs that are not league-specific, like 81-plus double upgrades. If you save those for Team of the Year, you will be able to pack Team of the Year icons because they are technically promo cards. And we're expecting to see a small batch of Team of the Year icons released today. Now, on the loading screen, there's a couple different cards. There's a card that it has an English flag, a Dutch flag, and then the Serbian flag. And we do believe we know who those are going to be from these leaks. We would assume that the Dutch flag on the loading screen would be Rude Hullet, right? This could potentially be his card. Stats are not confirmed, but an insane upgraded Rude Hullet with a dynamic image would be, of course, amazing on this on absolutely unbelievable uh, card design as well, right? So we believe it's Hullet, Beckham, and Vidic, but of course it could be Ashley Cole, it could be Vandersar, since those guys have the same nation. They're on the loading screen, but you would imagine EA would put the best of the best players on that loading screen. So, not sure about guys like Ronaldinho, uh, Gerd Muller, or maybe Nesta or Makalele. Not sure about what cards will be released in packs, but some Team of the Year icons will be in packs today. So it may not be a ton of cards in packs, but what it's going to do is it's going to get a lot of people to open packs. A lot of people will just see team of the year is posted on the loading screen, uh, especially if it's just the attackers. You know, you see Mbappe and Messi and, and Benzema and you're like, okay, I want to open some packs. So that is going to get people to open packs and that's going to impact the market. And we'll talk about that here in a second. But also what I want to talk about today is SBCs. Because for most people, right, team of the year, you're like, okay, Nate, these cards are cool, but I can't afford them. So what content's going to be in it for me today? EA's not going to leave anybody left with anything to be desired. Because there will be a big SBC today. You can almost book it 
we have this flashback SBC as the most likely candidate for our first team of the year SBC, Sergio Ramos. We've seen this leak. We've known about this leak. This could be like the flashback Varane of last year. Absolutely insane center back. Big name. A staple in team of the year for so long. I think the best percentage chance of this dropping or of any SBC dropping today is this Ramos. I think it's very likely that he drops. He was the first SBC card that was leaked. And for this card today, it all comes down to how good the stats are, hopefully better than this and what the price is. I would rather have a Ramos card with all the packs that we're going to open up during team of the year. I would rather have one that's like 94 or 95 rated, have bigger stat boost than this and be a bit more expensive because that would mean a better card that I could use for longer in the year. I really hope that it's not a lower rated Ramos card that is cheap. I don't expect that to happen, but I hope they just give us a really, really juicy Ramos today. And of course, you're going to want to watch out for some of your PSG links, right? I know we've got the whole Mbappe situation with the player of the month, but a lot of people are thinking about like Hakimi, or maybe it's that Marco Verratti Centurions card, right? Some of these cards are actually going up in value as people get ready and expect to see the Sergio Ramos dropped in the game today. So there's going to be a lot of hype around this SBC. If it's not good value, Value, then the the links to this and fodder um, and other center backs in the game will probably end up going up. Well, the links to this would go down like Verratti and, and Hakimi and those guys, but it all just depends on the value of that Varan as to how, or sorry, of that Ramos to how the market will react today in that area. So there's only one other leaked SBC that we have at this time besides Ramos, and it is Gareth Bale's end of an era. You, you guys may have not seen this. It was leaked yesterday. Gareth Bale end of an era is also added to come as an SBC. It could be today as well. I would just expect to see one big SBC between Ramos and Bale. This might come later during team of the year. Hopefully it's a bit more juiced than this. This card's not bad by any means, but they're going to have to make it a little bit cheaper as well. I think just because of the MLS links not being that amazing, his league or his uh, nation links aren't that amazing either. So that's a very emotional card and a cool card. Of course, we had the end of an era bail last year. Hopefully it is saucy. And uh, I mean, there is a slight potential that that could be our SBC today and that Ramos could be later. So just kind of keep that in mind. Those are the two leaked SBCs that we have out at this time. And you saw me click on it. This should be our objective player today. The only leaked objective card for right now, a team of the year um, moments objective Gundogan. Hopefully the stats look like this. This could be a fun objective. This might be one of the better pieces of content today. If EA get the upgrades right, get the stats right. This is a card that everybody could go out and grind in objectives. And that will be a nice Premier League midfielder, uh, hopefully with some good stat boost and maybe, you know, some weak foot skill moves EA, juice something up there, make it extra special. That is probably our objective player today. Now, also, there's been a lot of rumors, and it's not even rumors now. It's actually confirmed. Everybody is wanting to know about Player of the Month Mbappe. Is Player of the Month Mbappe going to get an SBC, and will that SBC be dropped today? Usually, and this is why it was a surprise, yesterday, Thursdays, are days where we usually get League One Player of the Month SBCs. But what actually happened was the League One Twitter account posted that Mbappe won the award and is the player of the month, but there's no SBC yet in the game. Now, here's my thought process around this, right? Mbappe special cards are dropping. As people see this, they're like, okay, Mbappe is supposed to get a player of the month, which he absolutely deserves one. Every time somebody wins a player of the month award, you know, nine times out of 10, they get an SBC. The only time they usually don't is if it's at the very beginning of the year, like in August, right? The August player of the month winners don't end up getting an SBC because FIFA starts like at the end of September. At least that's how it's gone from recent years. I think the reason why EA might be withholding this SBC from us a little bit longer is because they want the focus to be on the team of the year version of Mbappe and they want people to be opening packs today to try to chase that card and not chase an SBC version of him that is in the game. That is my opinion of why we don't have a player of the month Mbappe SBC just yet, but I really, really hope that we do get one and a lot of people are preparing on the market like we will. Now, player of the month SBCs, you maybe remember last week we had Martin Odegaard that was dropped early on a Friday, Friday afternoon, UK time, like early mid-morning. Player of the Month SBCs do often drop on Fridays for the Premier League, but not so often for the League One. Again, it just comes down to EA's decision of when they want to drop this SBC. The voting and everything is separate from EA, right? Whoever chooses to play of the month, that's separate from EA. That's, yeah, that's the UNFP, right? This this is the official Twitter account for League One Player of the Month. It's a French account. Um, you know, this is their account, right? They're always tweeting about 
um, the players and the winners of Player of the Month. So Mbappe won. It's official. It's not a leak. It's 100% accurate. Now it's just up to EA to drop an SBC whenever they want to. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. It might be next week. Honestly, we have no idea. If I had to guess and give my best guess, I think it might be tomorrow on Saturday. Or maybe they, they drop. I, I really don't know, guys. It's a really tough one to call because I think EA's put in a tough situation here because Mbappe won the player of the month, but they want the hype to be around his team of the year card, obviously, today. So I that's why I feel like it might drop today. But again, that's up in the air. We have no idea. So if you're somebody who wants to do Mbappe player of the month, which, you know, I might be one of those people, right? If I don't pack Mbappe during team of the year, this would be an absolutely incredible SBC to craft. It's probably going to be an Mbappe that's 93 rated plus one rating overall from his latest and most recent performance based card, which is this 92 inform. So, you know, there's a lot of hype around this card, a 93 Mbappe via SBC. So many people would want to do that. If you take a look at the Mbappes that are getting listed up on the market, look at how many games these guys have. 700, 900, 800 games. These are people that are selling these cards because they've used them for a long time, hoping and knowing that a, a SBC will be coming. Now, if we don't get a play of the month Mbappe today, I would imagine that his gold card, since it would be going out of packs with the team of the year coming into packs, the gold card would go up and his other informs would go up if there is no Mbappe siding today on this game at any time. Now, if there is for an SBC, his cards might go down, but that's just a lot of specific Mbappe talk because I know that's a very, very in-demand card and that's an SBC that could come today, but also might not. There's a lot of questioning around that at the moment. So that's kind of the news on play of the month Mbappe. Let's talk about the market and let's talk about packs because let's be honest, guys, we all know cats out of the bag. It's very hard to pack a team of the year. And if you have saved up packs, like we said, I'm not opening any of these today. The only ones I would even think about opening would be like a triple 83 plus attackers pack. But even then, it's still better off to save these until the end of this next week when the full team of the year is in packs. Maybe we have team of the year honorable mentions in packs. And there's other SBCs that are out and upgrade packs to craft and to, if you have duplicates, rinse those into and stuff like that. Not saying there's no SBCs out now because there absolutely are, but that's kind of my take um, on packs and stuff like that. I know we already mentioned it, but there's a lot of brand new pack codes that have been added to the game, which should start showing in the game today for EA to try to get people to open packs. Now, the first one is, this is kind of cool, a Team of the Year Messi loan pack. We've had Ledley King and we've had Nesta in the moments section, in the moments store uh, for a, like a loan player pack. This is what the kind of vibes I'm getting with that. They might just all give us a Team of the Year loan Messi today, which is sick, GGZA. That's incredible. We have an 84 plus elite pack, provisions pack, which is all consumable or all gold common players, which is very interesting. But that would be a huge help to our clubs as EA is going to be dropping a lot of team of the year challenge SBCs for packs throughout this entire promo. That'd be a huge help. Um, and then an 88 plus mid prime or world cup icon pack. We might be seeing this later on in the weekend or next week. That might be our next icon upgrade pack. So remember this because it will be coming back very soon. Now there's a lot of packs here, so we're going to go through them and there's a bunch of these team of the year packs, right? But the 10 coin packs are back. If you remembered these from black Friday, Team of the Year 10 coin pack contains two rare gold players plus one 89 plus alone player uh, on loan for three games, all items and tradable. So, hey, I'll spend 10 coins to get two rare golds. That's a deal, right? So we always love those. We saw them first this year during Black Friday. The 10 coin packs are going to be back. So keep an eye out for that. And then there's a bunch of essentials packs, a New Year special pack, a foundations pack. They're all in tradable. Um, and then they're just including some team of the year loans. They're including some gold players. This one has a foot hero player inside of it. So watch out for those, those store packs to be dropped over the weekend. We have an ultimate midfielders and attackers pack. I don't remember seeing an ultimate defenders pack, but ultimate midfielders and attackers, which is 30 attackers or midfielders with one 85 plus. And then these three uh, player packs by league. These are nice. These are going to be as upgrade SBCs at some point in the next couple of weeks. Those are nice to see. And this very last pack here, guys, there's a lot of packs, right? This last one's very interesting. Honorable mentions mystery pack bundle. EA with this pack code have literally just guaranteed that we are going to be getting honorable mentions cards during team of the year. Now we don't expect them today. 
Uh, that'd be crazy if they're out today, but we're expecting them like next week at the end of the week, a week from now. But they basically put the cat out of the bag here with this pack code because it says contains three honorable mentions players, Martinez, Doan, and Onahi. I have no idea who that last player is. I literally did go through the team of the year voting, didn't find anybody with that name. Uh, one draft token and a coin boost. This Martinez could be Emmy Martinez or Lautaro Martinez. And Doan is the Japanese player from the Bundesliga. Of course, he's got a team of the tournament card from the World Cup. So no idea who this last player is, Onahi. Maybe I'm just completely missing it. Uh, but the other two guys, you know, match names that were in the voting for team of the year, which usually players who get honorable mentions are from that voting. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. But EA have basically just confirmed that we are getting honorable mentions cards at some point during team of the year with this. So I don't expect this to drop today. I don't know if EA made a mistake with this pack code, but uh, that is obviously very interesting. And hopefully we see that show up very soon. But those are all the packs. Again, I would expect to see at least two or three of these store packs uh, drop today. Just it, It's kind of got giving me like Black Friday vibes, right? Where they drop a bunch of packs. The 10 coin pack that they have as well in the code here. I think on Black Friday, they even gave us a free uh, it was like a free mega pack that they gave us on Black Friday. They might do something along those lines today to try to keep everybody involved because, of course, EA know that not everybody is going to be opening packs today or, um, you know, thinking that they could pack a team of the year, right? Not everybody's going to be able to pack those because these team of the year cards are very difficult to pack. Now, with that in mind, let's talk about the market because as we have been seeing all week, prices are down. Some prices are starting to go back up a little bit, but a lot of prices are still low for where they have been. Is today or later, like tonight, later in the night, is that going to be where a switch flips and a lot of these cards start to go up? I think there is potential for that, but I don't think it starts with prices going up early today on Friday. I think today on Friday, it's going to be a massive, massive day for the market, but there's still going to be a little bit of panic selling. In my opinion, you will see some prices, not everything, but some prices will probably drop in price um, on this game. As we head towards content, people will be like, okay, maybe it's an Ebra card, or maybe it's even a lower tier card. If they see some leaks about an SBC that is coming out or something, people will want to have their coins ready to change up their teams with whatever content is dropped today. And of course, after the content drop, there's a couple very interesting things that are happening with all the other SBCs that are dropping today, potentially like a team of the year challenge pack, maybe some sort of upgrade pack, uh, the Ramos or the Bale, maybe a player of the month in Bappe. One of the other SBCs that we're getting today again is the 87 plus base or FIFA World Cup Hero Player Pick, and this SBC refreshes. So if you did it early in the week, it's gonna come back, you'll be able to do it again. This SBC made some waves earlier on. It's an 84, 85, and 86 squad with one inform requirement. A lot of people will want to do this. Let's say you open a couple packs today, which a lot of people, again, guys, I say this, and I'm telling you guys not to open packs, but a lot of people playing FIFA today will open packs just because they see Team of the Year cards in packs. Even if it's just the attackers, People will open packs, and that means there's going to be people with cards that are going to be in their club fodder, basically, right? They're going to go do SBCs like this one, and I do believe this is going to create a very interesting scenario today on the fodder side of the market, and even for, like, panic on the market in general. When we've had SBCs like this that refresh on Promo Fridays, usually it causes a little bit of panic selling during the time when people are opening packs and then going and doing this SBC. So for the first hour of content today, as people are opening lightning rounds and opening some of their packs because they see Team of the Year's are out, I think there could be a little bit more panic on the market. So prices staying stagnant or dropping a little bit into the 6 p.m. content time frame. They drop the content, maybe a couple more drops on some mid to lower tier players. That SBC, that hero player pick costs around like 200, 250K. So it's not that cheap to do. Some people might have to sell cards to go and do it. And then from there, that's where the market might start to go up on the most meta out of pack special cards that people are buying to build their teams. Now with this player pick that is going to get released, what should you do with fodder today? Now, this is a tricky one, really, really tricky because it's just going to be, it's going to be like um, a seesaw, right? There's going to be demand today. There's also going to be supply. I'm really curious to see 
what's going to happen with like 84s to 87s because that's the type of fodder that went up the last time this SBC was released. 85s, if you guys remember, the first time that they went to about 14,000 coins or basically extinct on the market where they are right now, a lot of them at max price, they shot up in the week earlier last week when this player pick was released. They And then, of course, earlier this week as well when it was released again or there was another SBC last week. And then this player pick this week has helped this fodder go up as much as it has. And honestly, am I expecting 85s to go back to 8K today? No, but there's going to be a lot of supply for people opening packs. I'm very curious to see if fodder maybe drops right away, but then rebounds later, or if fodder kind of stays the same price on the middle to high tier and then drops off later into the night as more supply keeps coming in, as EA is running more lightning rounds and people are opening packs. I'm honestly not sure. I will tell you this though. 83s are probably probably going to drop down in value. 84s are probably going to drop down in value. The lower tier fodder, the stuff that's going to get packed more, as you can already tell, people are starting to sell it off because they expect it to go down. That's the stuff that will probably go down more than the top tier stuff, right? Guys, it's it's a really weird scenario today. Like there's demand, there's also supply. So I'm it's really tough to try to say what is exactly gonna happen, except for that low tier fodder is definitely going to get supplied, like the 83s, the 84s, maybe even the 85s will drop back down a little bit. That would be very nice and very needed uh, because some of the SBCs that require those 85s are going away, like the 83 times 10 will no longer be here, and that's what really made 85s boom this week. That's going away, of course, and then even some of these 83 times threes, like the attacker that requires 85s, that's going away as well. So that's kind of what I'm expecting. Again, a little bit unexpected on that SBC market side of things, but for the meta market, I remember last year on Team of the Year, the day of was an absolutely incredible day to make coins because so many people go back and buy players for their team because they got to play weekend league. And there's even more weekend league demand again. We've been talking about this throughout the week that uh, I believe there was going to be a nice market bounce on the team of the year night uh, rise, right? As people are going and playing foot champs, they, everybody got foot champs qualifier points this week. EA gifted them out and there's extra win rewards in champs. So people are going to be going and buying teams. The market is down. Prices are low. That means there is great potential for cards to go up. I've already bought a couple cards. I'm trying to flip some stuff right now. Watch the most meta rare out of packs cards that may be linked to a Ramos today, right? I'm definitely watching PSG links, but anything that is rare, that is popular, that people want to use in their teams, you know, you maybe want to watch like if Benzema, uh, his team of the year card today as an attacker, if his card is like really, really insane, maybe some of the Real Madrid links will go up a little bit. Like this Vinny Jr. is one that a lot of people have kept their eyes on he could definitely go up today as a very rare card and one of the most popular links to that Benzema maybe Kamavinga as well if you're a PSG links you have Renato you have Akimi, you have Neymar you have so many different cards also this like Aloe run right one of the most meta cards in the game if there is panic today focus on what is rare focus on what is meta because that stuff will go up I believe tonight and it should be a decent time if you have not bought cards for your team net Yet, it should be a decent time to look at buying a couple cards for your team. Even if prices don't get to their absolute lowest for what they were earlier in the week, like Yaya Toure is right now back down or back up actually to about 520, 530K. He was 500K flat yesterday, right? Let's say Yaya goes back down to like 510 and he doesn't look like he's going to go any lower. I still think it'd be a decent time to buy a card like this because he would end up going higher. And today just kind of flips the switch between the panic selling and of course, people going back out and buying cards for their team. So today's going to be a really great day to make coins on the market. We're going to be live streaming it and of course, reacting to seeing all these team of the year cards the team of the year icons are going to drop on the game. It is going to be a mad day on FIFA today. Team of the year Friday on FIFA 23. So if you guys are excited for it, make sure to thumbs up, uh, drop a comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. We'll be streaming live on Twitch. Check that link down below in the description as well during the content drop today. It's going to be a mad one. Hope you guys are ready. I'll get out of your face now. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.